all up to me. So uh, let's prop, let's uh, prep the ship, and um, for this session, since open play is also fairly new to me, I will be fairly quiet until I maybe you know come off something of uh, interest. All right. Oh, so nice. So, um, yeah, uh, to reach uh, the Desiat system where Felicity is at, it's gonna be five jumps. Um, I switched the layout of my ship to include um, a fuel scoop. And um, also, I ditched uh, some modules out, for instance, the planetary hangar. So, let me quickly actually uh, recalculate the route, maybe it'll save me a, a jump. Still five jumps. Okay, structure detected. Use data link scanner to search for targets. Ladies and gentlemen, I have stumbled upon something. Wow, um, let's see my contact list first. I just set up a uh, fire group with a data link scanner. Secondary 1 it's a heat sink, secondary 2 it's a data link scanner. So it's on my... What is that guys? Let me try and uh, get that for you. I can't make up what it is so I... Oh there are escape pods, let's fly out there dude. 
I'm not sure what's going on. But I am not getting anything in range. Uh, my sensors are up. Let's prep the cargo hatch. We don't need the frameshift drive, we don't need the fuel scoop. No need weapons yet. Uh, point defense maybe on standby. I can't target anything yet, so I'll target the lower class science vessel first. You may scan this object for further information. Uh, I think I need to be maybe closer into range. Well, first I'm flying towards these pods. Which I still can't select. Which is weird because they should be in less of a range than um, they should be closer in range than the science vessel. So do we have external lights working? Yes. So there are three in the center of my screen and there's one on the right uh, next to the point of fence uh, letters and symbol. Uh, I still can't target them. This is odd. I'm not sure what to think here, guys. Oh, I can target them now. Emergency medical unit. It's a ship. It's a... Uh, okay. So they're just floating about. Oh, they're actually up to speed. Funny that I uh, mistook them for uh, escape pods. Yep, these are smart flying skills. It's so funny that uh, the NPCs are totally not bothered with me uh, flying around them this way. And I'm amazed I'm even uh, this smooth today, uh, not even having VR or whatever. But that means they're flying actually really slow. Yeah, 
around uh, somewhere around the 50 uh, 55 57 all right so uh, let's take a look at the ship whoa there's so much stuff here what is going on dude escape pods I was right So far as I can see, it, I'm trying to save some people's lives over here by uh, picking them up. And I'm also uh, collecting these advanced medicines because I know for sure that uh, targets like, uh, not targets, but stations like uh, Carpenter Terminal and the rescue ships, they would appreciate this kind of uh, advanced medicines. So it's good. But I'm also like trying to understand is this a uh, field of debris which will keep um, refreshing or is this is this it so as soon as I uh, kind of get the picture that this is it uh, I'll travel on to Lowell station sorry and see what's up there okay I've got all the advanced medicines I've got the uh, escape pods so let's continue on to Lowell this is the first time I have to add that I think I am stumbling onto some uh, maybe some narrative related uh, content here but maybe I'm jumping too soon All I know is I did far too less research to understand what is going to happen with me here. But well, okay, it's a mega ship. I currently have it selected. Um, so I can't contact it. So yeah, I know for sure that something has happened with this ship. So I would say best is for me to uh, do a flyby keep my distance and then recap because uh, the original goal was to find Felicity Farce here uh, I don't think she's on this ship
So we have now come to a point uh, that I'm gonna try and scan it. I have the data link scanner available. Uh, Wow! Scan it though. It's scanning our cargo hold, sir. Like it's looking for something. Why did we pick it up on the last stop? <clears throat> so whatever happened on uh, this ship, uh, it is Targor related. Uh, for me now, it's time I think to continue on and find Felicity. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done all the scanning and... Um, yeah, read the message, so I, I guess maybe Felicity knows more. Uh, or I should dive into Galnet and try to find articles related to the Lowell class science vessel. Interesting. Lowell class science vessel. Alright, uh, so for now let's take a look at where she might be. There we go. This is not the station where she's at. She's actually there with the uh, purple marker. So she's on this planet, uh, on this body. Um, let's see. I want to check first over here. At the ships. So they do have a shipyard, and uh, these obviously not. Because it might be um, interesting for me to see what kind of ships they sell here. Uh, I've, I've now accumulated enough money and enough interest to, I think, purchase a new ship. Uh, right now I'm enjoying the keel back a lot, but uh, I'm kind of busy and stuck with switching modules all the time. So. In order to be uh, less conf uh, confronted with this, uh, I thought it might be nice to add a Type 6 or a Type 7 and I um, uh, a pro uh, outfit that with the appropriate modules I need and keep the queue back in one configuration, uh, like standby at all times. And the same would go for the new Type 6 or Type 7. So, just out of interest I do want to know and uh, also we're playing open play so uh, making a stop isn't uh, isn't too bad maybe I'll meet somebody along the way through these doorways touchdown complete engaging ship restraints Drifting your arrival through. has been noted Encrypted dimensions Through these doorways Place to place Floating rails Encrypted dimensions
Yes, there she is, ladies and gents. Felicity Farseer. She is the one that can increase your jump range or increase something else. And there are others like her. And they all have their specialty. Um, welcome, Commander. Farseer Inc. services are at your disposal. And yes, look at that. Engineering Workshop. Nice. We unlocked the trophy. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I learned about Felicia Farcia in game. Uh, for those of you who are new to Elite Dangerous, let me explain. As soon as you kind of give in to the game and you start uh, doing some of the missions the game uh, throws at you at the early beginning. Um, completing them will randomly automatically lead up to introducing Felic Felicity Farseer to you. And she will uh, give you a message inviting you, saying in which system she is. And mostly at that time you'll be like, that's so many jumps. But don't worry, I think, you know, a few hours of playing, maybe a week of playing, and you'll have a ship that's able to jump there in a few jumps. Uh, the same happened to me. Um, throughout uh, the last three weeks, I have been keeping tabs on YouTube about um, engineering upgrades. But nevertheless, I have to say, it's 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 serious uh, abracadabra to me. So, um, I did want to show you guys the screen, um, just to let you know that I made it to the system, just to let you know that I'm getting into the whole engineering aspect. And uh, also, this uh, has been all an open play. Uh, in total, I've met uh, two players. Uh, with one of them, I had a brief uh, text chat. And... Um, Nothing else special happened, uh, I wasn't blown out of the sky uh, like I actually suspected would happen, so yeah, um, maybe this is a very big universe where uh, it's easy for you to hide in, so, so far so happy. Alright, and uh, from this uh, invitation on I can see that she's willing to cooperate with me if I bring her one meta alloy. Uh, I have an idea of what that is. Um, but I'll do have to do some research on that, so, because obviously, yeah, I don't have it on me, so that's a shame. Okay.